Uh, good morning guys. Right, so today's video we are showcasing the probably UK's first system for a motorhome and camper van. It's our blind spot system. So the blind spot system is exactly the same as how it works in a passenger car, which is becoming more and more commonly seen now and maybe even a factory fit option on standard cars. It's not a luxury refinement anymore. One thing we did notice was the fact that this particular setup was not available for the longer vehicles. So we've approached a manufacturer. They've been working with us to design a system that can be retrofitted on camper vans and motorhomes. Um, now, obviously, the motorhome market is getting bigger and bigger and bigger and we wanted to refine this as much as we can so this is our resident motorhome that we fit the majority of our, our products to and we're showcasing it today in here um so what we're going to do is I'm just going to turn the system on it consists of that's just the system powering up it consists of two 24 gigahertz microwave radars they are fitted one either side of the back of the motorhome, which we'll show you at the back. The wiring then gets routed to the front, connected to the module. The module then gets things like power. It then knows its indicator left and its indicator right. We've got a little dash mounted um, button here because in this particular vehicle, this is a 2009. And I'll explain about that in a second. So Tim's just zoomed in on the uh, A-pillar dash mounted here. You can have these where you want, but we would want them to go as near as you can to the sort of factory location, which would be normally in a wing mirror. So I currently drive a passenger car at the moment that's got it built in, and it's built into the glass of the wing mirror. But of course, you can't have that when it's retrofitted. So this little thing here lights up. There's also an audible buzzer. And then going to this little button here, this means that when the system is beeping or flashing and you don't want it to you can just by pressing the button disable it which is awesome so what I'm going to do is I'm going to start the engine up now the system works exactly the same as again in a passenger car you've got left indicator right indicator if I was to indicate left right now because the blind spot system cannot see a vehicle in our path or within 75 feet away from the back of the vehicle or in our blind spot, hence the name blind spot assist, it's not flashing or making a noise. Now ordinarily when we're driving down, down the dual carriageway or on the motorways or on the single A's and B's roads, uh, A and B roads, the system will light up only and that system will light up when it feels that, or when it sees or detects a car uh, coming into your blind spot on the passenger side or the driver side. It will only flash rapidly and give you an audible noise when you are indicating and it thinks you are in a dangerous position. So for instance, if I'm in the inside lane of the dual carriageway or motorway and I can't see because I haven't checked my blind spot mirror or it's slightly out of the range of the blind spot mirror, a vehicle approaching, then I will indicate right the audible buzzer will sound and the display here right or left depending on which way you're indicating will flash rapidly and that is then to warn you that the vehicle is there it's actually an extremely simple but effective system this is designed for the motorhomes that range from five meters up to nine and a half meters long we don't really get rvs over in this country but you know the more and more uh, the, the RV or the, mar the motorhome market grows, we're gonna see bigger vehicles. And this system is gonna be uh, extremely popular and we are gonna be pioneers um, in bringing this system to the UK for the motorhome market. So in the next video, we're gonna try and do, um, if Tim can keep the camera steady, we're gonna do a little bit of a um, showcase of what the system does and how it works. And then also we see if we can get the system to um, buzz as well and then also we'll show you the uh, microwave radars uh, on the back of the unit uh, and give you an idea this is just simply to give you um, an idea of what the system does how it works and what you get for your money unfortunately the good old British weather is quite windy today the rain has held off um, but sorry if we're picking up any noise on the microphone okay right we're at the back of the vehicle again apologies for the wind noise uh, the storms are coming thick and fast at the moment so you can just pick up on the left hand side of the vehicle 
and on the right hand side of the vehicle they're relatively relatively discreet stood here but they are big uh, units because they are in fact big radar units that are doing a, a quite an important job probably the most important job so what we do on the next sex section we'll we'll just pop in and have a look at the actual radar itself at the moment they come in black uh, and as the system evolves we'll hopefully be reducing the size or even offering different colors for the different motorhomes but as i said they're here to do a job okay so we're now on the left hand side passenger side of the resident motorhome as you can see here is the microwave or the radar unit these bits here are just reflectors uh, and again will show any vehicle behind especially traveling at light that you've got this it's just drawing attention to the vehicle this is the radar concept here or part of the actual uh, main part of it that will pick up the range on the obstacle behind you to the side of you and that's why it's facing at this angle so that it can pick up anything in your blind spot there's one on the passenger side and there's one on the driver's side what we're going to do now is we're going to jump in the vehicle uh, whip down the dual carriageway and uh, show your work. Right, so we're now um, driving on a UK dual carriageway. Uh, the speed limit on this road is only 50 anyway. So what I'm going to do is show you if we can. Sorry again for the noise, but we are in a motorhome uh, and so there's always going to be the, the noise from the furniture. So there's a car overtaking us now uh, and the system's on. And again, now we've got a couple of other vehicles coming up. So what I do is, as the next one goes to overtake, I'm going to just stick my indicator on and see if we can hear the buzzer. Uh, as soon as it lights, I'm going to indicate. So just one second. There you go. So that was my warning to say, whoa, 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 please don't overtake. There's somebody in your blind spot. Now, because this system has been designed for bigger roads, i.e. for RVs in the States, we do find on the passenger side that it can pick up some bigger road signs and bridges and other bits and pieces. So here's like another obstacle on the driver's side, the van coming down through now, and the, the, the van that's just passed and then gone off again. So again, just to reiterate, this will only light on the right or on the left as and when you've got a vehicle in your blind spot. If I was to attempt to indicate whilst that is illuminated, the audible buzzer will alarm and sound you to alert you to say, listen, there's something there, you're gonna, you're in danger. Now on the left hand side, if Tim could zoom in on that bit there, uh, again, I, I do apologize for the noise, we are in a motorhome. <laughs> uh, right, so, as we're going down here over this bridge, um, we have noticed, as I said earlier, that it does pick up on the odd thing. So that could be uh, a tree, a road sign, or even a bollards to a bridge, and that's because it's doing its job. Okay, it's not a crime wall situation, but it, it is alerting you that there's something there and that you may be quite close to that. But of course, in a motorhome, you are in a wide vehicle and you're more likely to stay to slightly one side of the road uh, than you would for other vehicle passenger car driving. Right, so we're up at a roundabout now. I've got two vehicles, a car and a passenger van or a van in my right hand side. And we're now going round the roundabout. Okay, so now coming up here, you can't see it on the camera, but we've got in 600 yards that the left lane is going to merge into one. So I'm going to pull into the right hand side lane any second. And again, I'm indicating, but because the radar sensor can't pick up anything in my blind spot, there's no problem at all. Now, I'll show you a second, as I said, with Tim now videoing that left-hand indicator. If Tim can show you the road ahead, we are getting into quite a narrow road, uh, and therefore this, the radar on the back of the vehicle, which is doing its job, is a possibility that it'll pick up some of these road coins, uh, road cones, and I'm just gonna bring the vehicle into the left a bit and see what it does. Uh, it's definitely gonna pick up this bollard there you go so I've moved over just to show you how sensitive it is but also on the road there were concrete blocks now we don't want to make this video too long we just want to show you precisely what this system does it is fantastic there's nothing on the market uh, we're gonna definitely be one of the first or if not the first in the UK to launch this for motorhomes and if you're driving a vehicle you're responsible for a very large 
long, wide, heavy vehicle, then this system is going to be absolutely perfect for you. It is only available for us to install down here in sunny Dorset, so there's no reason why you can't plan a trip, drop your motorhome off for the day, go and see some part of the beautiful Jurassic coastline whilst we work on your van. Okay, so this is an advanced in-car video. The website is www.advanced-incar.co.uk. Don't forget to subscribe, tell your friends and family, and we'll also be putting it on our other channel, Motorhome Retrofits. And the website for that is www.motorhomeretrofits.co.uk. Thanks again, guys, for watching. We really appreciate it.